One of the easiest ways to visualize columns and rows of data is using a table. Visme is an online presentation and infographic tool that now allows you to create tables right within your browser. You don't have to install any new software and it's easy to use. In this short tutorial, we're going to show you how you can make the most of this brand new feature. So the first step to creating your table is simply going to the Charts and Data Widgets tool on the panel on the left side of your screen, which is found here. I click on it and then I choose the Tables option found on the top right of the dock panel that appears. Once I click on it, I see the option to select the number of rows and columns I desire. So let's say I want to create a table with three rows and three columns, and then I click on it and I see it appear on my stage. Once it's there, all I have to do is resize it as needed. So I click on these handles on the corners of my table and drag and drop them until I reach the desired length and height. Now, if I want to adjust the width and height of any column or row, all I have to do is click on that specific cell and then you see these arrows appear. So all I have to do is drag them until I reach the desired height of the row or if I want to adjust the column width, I can also do that here. Next, I can also select a specific theme by clicking on the table and then all I have to do is go to this themes option here at the top of my screen and I see six different options. So you see that each of them is already preset so you don't have to select a color scheme or anything like that. If you're on the go, this is really useful. You just select one of these and you're good to go. Now, if I want to apply my own color scheme, all I have to do is go to my table and select the row or column that I want to change the color of. And then I go to the paint bucket icon and I choose either one of the colors that I've used previously here, or I can choose one of the colors already available for me within Visme. There are more than 50 different color combinations, which are really useful because these colors are meant to go together. So let's say I want to use this color combination that I've already used before, and I select one of these colors here. Another thing I can do within Visme is change the font style and size of the text. So all I have to do is, let's say I want to change the font and style of the entire table, all I have to do is click on the table and then select um, the font that I want. So let's say I want to change from Helvetica to something else like Josephine Sands. So I just choose the style that I want and I choose the size so I can make this bigger or smaller or manually insert the size as well. Another thing I can do within Visme is add borders to my cells and to my table. So if I want to add, let's say I want to change the color of these borders here and I want to choose a darker color so then I go to this icon here at the top of my screen and I can choose either a darker color from the color scheme I already used, for example there, you know, we can see how that looks. Or let's say I want to make this, uh, make my borders white. I can go to um, the colors I previously used and choose white as well. Next, I can also apply a border to my table. So to do that, I just click on the table and then I choose border properties here from the pop-up menu. And I can choose from a variety of styles like solid, dash, double, or groove. So let's say I want to keep it simple, so I choose solid. And then I see all these other options come up. So now I can change not only the thickness of it, I can change the color as well. So let's say I want to apply a color from the color scheme I already used, this one right here at the top. So let's say I want to um, apply this, this board right here. And then I can change the thickness of it by changing here, dragging the slider, or I can also manually insert the number of pixels that I want. And I can also make it more round by sliding this. So let's say I want to keep it square and I want to have a 2.5 thickness, so I leave it there. And you see that's how it looks. Now, if I want to add a row or add a column to my table, all I have to do is click on one of the cells and you see these arrows appear. So then when you click on the arrow, you'll see the options come up and you can either add a column or you can add a row. And then you can easily do the same to delete the column and delete the row. Finally, you can also add hyperlinks to any text in your table. Um, you can do this by simply clicking on the text 
and then clicking on the link option in this pop-up menu and then putting in the page that you want to appear so let's say I want um, to put FISME here and then you choose um, the option to open in a new window and you just apply the link so you can do this with any text within your table so this is how easy it is to use tables and create them within VISME. Um, you can do this within minutes, and like I said in the beginning, it works right within your browser, so you don't have to install any new software. So stay tuned for more tips and hacks, which we will be rolling out in the future.